Hundreds of people from Port St. Joe and Gulf County showed up for today's event. This April will be 55 years since Martin Luther King was shot and killed on a hotel balcony in Memphis. While the civil rights leader never visited the panhandle, the effect of his work continues to impact our communities. As News 13's Alex Shalai tells us, Bluntstown residents showed out in full force today to march in remembrance of Dr. King. More than 50 Bluntstown residents came together to participate in a march in memory of Dr. Martha Luther King Jr. and the impact his work has had across the world. I think wanting an opportunity, equal opportunity for everyone. He never said, I just want an opportunity for my family or just for the black race. I, and I, no, he wanted equal opportunity uh, and, and being recognized equally. For the past 31 years, Bluntstown residents have marched to honor King. Participants remember King's role in many marches, most notably the March on Washington and when the civil rights leader led marches from Selma to Birmingham, Alabama. One of the things I, 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 people fail to realize is when the marches of the 60s, they dressed up in ties and suit. And I had that question asked to me, why did they dress up in ties? Well, they knew they were going to jail, but they wanted to go in dignity. Today, residents were joined by Bluntstown Mayor, Police Department, and other community leaders. But that was not the case for Dr. King as he marched through the South in the 60s. Thinking back to my first uh, event, we marched in this particular area, and we marched up to, to a church and had a program. There was no police escort. There was no permits. There was no sheriff involved. There was no police. There was no city government. And I just thank God that it's grown into that area where it's involved the whole community and not just the black community. Bluntstown residents say there's still plenty of work to be done to unify their community. We can remember that we got a lot of work to do, but yet we're working on them. And that is bringing people together. In Bluntstown, Alex Sly, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Jan says the event is important because we must continue to break social barriers.